don't stop. Welcome to Grace and Lottie's. In this video, we're going to be back in Johanna's Christmas working on the snowflake picture. Now, where I live, it hasn't really snowed yet. We have a chance tomorrow, but typically here, if there's a chance, it doesn't come through. So I'm not holding my breath on that. So this is the closest I am going to get to snowflakes at, for right now. Now, this picture is a geometric mandala kind of design. So there are a lot of repeats. There are also these crystals that you see. So I'm gonna do this video a little bit differently than I have in the fact that I'm gonna color one example or like a little section and then I'm just going to speed it up and let it repeat because otherwise this video would be about four hours long if I did it the other way. Now because we have those crystals, I'm gonna be using my tritones in this because they give a great way to get a little bit of variance like crystals kind of have without having to mix a whole bunch of colors. So you're also gonna to get to see how to do lights and darks to create depth with those as well. So let's get started.
went to start editing the video, I realized that some of it had accidentally been deleted. So I'm going to go back real quickly and cover what that deleted footage kind of covered in the picture so that nothing's really lost here. I was using a new color, which really stinks because this is when I was starting in with my green here. So what I did was on these areas right here, I went in and just real lightly did some green and then would come in and with the ice blue and this green right here is number 24 um, and I would come in with the blue. This kind of gave me this really nice pale turquoise that I was using. And then I used the ice blue here, number 15, to really get in there. And let me I'll do one more for you. I'm going to scoot this a little bit closer in the frame so it's easier to see. Then I would use the white, my Prismacolor white right here, to be my blender and go in. And this gives this fun pale turquoise, which really is a good blue to add in because it has that teeny bit of yellow in it. So it stands out, but it still stays within the icy colors. So we'll, I'm going to show you over here because you saw I shaded in all the edges and I did these little pieces on all of these stars the same way. Just real quickly. You can see it doesn't take long. And on these for the shadowing, I just did it up in here rather than out in the main. And then using the white to blend it the same way. Now you're going to see that these points as well on all of them were colored and I used, um, where are you? <coughs> Excuse me, I had to sneeze. Where are you? I know you're out. It's the light blue. 18, are you light blue? Yes, light blue right here. And all I did was give a little bit of outline like this on the edges. And I did the same thing over here on these, all the way around. Giving this edge that little bit more. And then using the white to be my blender. This is that Prismacolor white again. And did all the points just like that all the way around the design. So I hope that my little quick tracing here and going through this will help you to finish those spots that got deleted by accident.
for this video. In part two, I'll be adding a lot more to this. I'm looking forward to it. I've actually already started on it, so I know little secrets, but um, I think it's going to be a whole lot of fun as we get to do a lot of the decorating on this one. So stay tuned for that. Um, if you didn't notice in this video about halfway through, I went and got my book uh, rebound over at Staples. Um, got it. They, they chopped the binding off and then they put in a spiral bind, which helps it to lay flat, makes it a little easier for me to use. I'm right-handed, so it works out great for me. If you're left-handed, it might not work so well, but uh, just something that you might want to think about. It's not expensive to do, and it made it a ton easier to work in, to film, and uh, just all around great for a whole whopping $2, so worth it for me. Uh, I hope you have liked this video. If you have, please be sure to like, share, and subscribe. I am sticking with my Monday, Thursday, or sorry, Sunday, Thursday uploads uh, and trying to be pretty consistent with that as well as I am on Twitter and Instagram. I am at Grace and Lotties and I also have a Facebook page. So you can look us up there on social media if you want to find out a little more about what's going on. Remember that art happens in everyday life. Make sure you're watching for it. Bye. Don't stop.